munchies, welcome to the channel if you're new or if you're not, I'm Alicia and I am stoked you're here. Today we are making delicious fall soups to inspire your menu this season and to help support your bone health. I am sharing a creamy sweet potato soup, my take on a classic minestrone, and a coconut chicken curry soup. I'm partnering with one of my favorite brands, Sunsweet, as we bring attention to World Osteoporosis Day. Yay! It is raising global awareness about the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of osteoporosis and metabolic bone disease. Many people don't realize that prunes, which are dried plums, support bone health, and that research suggests eating five to six prunes per day may help prevent bone loss. Sunsweet Amazing Prunes are my favorite. There actually is a difference in the quality. I have worked with Sunsweet for years and their prunes with their special beautiful button shape are unmatched. So many benefits in a sweet juicy morsel. Three grams of natural fiber and only 100 calories per serving with no added sugar. And not to mention a lower glycemic index compared to other dried fruits. So to celebrate the mission and support your bone health, all of these soups will show you some fun and easy ways to integrate prunes into your meal in ways that you might not expect. This first one is so simple. It is a creamy sweet potato soup. My preferred way to cook sweet potatoes is to poke holes with a fork, wrap them in foil, and roast them in the oven. This requires no oil or anything else, but it gets them so caramelized. It pulls out their natural flavor and sweetness without any additional ingredients. It takes 45 minutes to an hour, depending on the size of your potatoes. Allow to cool to the touch and then remove the foil and peel the skins. Another reason I love this method is the skins peel off so easily. Separately, I get some Sunsweet Amazing Prunes into a dish along with some orange zest and orange juice. I cover that in foil and those also go into the oven for less time, 15 to 20 minutes. They plump up and caramelize as well, which not only adds flavor and sweetness, but also helps them into into the soup more easily. And that can also be done for the second half of the cooking time while the potatoes are going. Then in a saucepan over medium heat, melt butter and cook up some diced onion until softened. You could use oil, but sauteed onions and butter is one of my favorite things ever, and it really adds richness to this soup. Then we're ready for the blender. So in go the sweet potatoes, the prunes, and some additional orange juice, along with a sauteed onion, vegetable stock, coconut milk, and salt and pep. Let it go a good few minutes until super smooth and creamy. Yum. To serve, I heat it over the stove until warm and it's ready to go. Feel free to add a dollop of Greek yogurt for a nice balance of tang and top with some toasted pecans and diced prunes. This tastes like a fall bisque. It is so comforting, but it's still fresh and sweet, both of which complement the sweet potatoes with a subtle tang. The coconut milk and sauteed onions and butter adds a nice richness. I had the thought that this soup would also be good with leftover protein like holiday turkey stirred in. It's so versatile and also can be enjoyed cold. Cool. Next up, we're making a minestrone, but with a secret ingredient twist. Hmm, can you guess what it is? First, heat oil in a large pot over medium high heat. Add onions, carrots, and celery and saute for about eight minutes until softened and the onions turn translucent. Then add garlic and cook for another minute or two. Then I stir in some chopped green beans, bay leaves, dried oregano, dried basil, and salt and pep. And then I cook it for another three minutes. In go some canned diced tomatoes, some crushed tomatoes, and chicken broth and bring that to a boil, and then I reduce the heat and simmer for another 10 to 15 minutes. Next, stir in some drained and rinsed white beans and the secret ingredient, chopped Sunsweet Amazing Prunes. Did you know the secret ingredient? Did you guess it? You guessed it, didn't you? It's delicious. I also add some ditalini pasta and parsley, and all of that cooks until the pasta and veggies become nice and tender. Season with salt and pep, and serve with Parmesan, red pepper flakes, and parsley. Wow! Oh my gosh, this is so good. A minestrone is like a hearty vegetable soup, okay? It's savory and rich, with variation and texture from the different 
different ingredients like all the veggies and the pasta, but there's also variation in taste here. The pasta gives a nice neutral bite, which obviously pairs well with tomato, but the acidity from the tomatoes is also complemented by the sweet and tart prunes. Listen, I wouldn't have known until I tried it, but now I don't think I'll make a minestrone without prunes. Give it a whirl, your bones will thank you. Seriously though, I also feel like minestrone brings the kid in me out because it's almost like gourmet spaghettios. If you're enjoying these recipes and wanna see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new videos all the time. Last but not least, we are making my coconut chicken curry soup. This might be my favorite of the day. In a large pot over medium heat, I melt some butter to saute onions and carrots. I love the smell and flavor of veggies sauteed in butter. It makes me think of Thanksgiving, which is just so comforting for me, but you can totally feel free to use oil if preferred. Then I add garlic, some flour, curry powder, and garam masala, and cook for another minute or two. Stir in some chicken broth and bring that to a boil, and then reduce to a simmer for about 15 minutes. While that's simmering, I get some chopped chicken cooked up in a pan with a little oil. I prefer to cook smaller bite-sized pieces of chicken for the soup, so I cut them smaller before cooking. I season with salt and cook to brown on all sides. Once cooked through, we're gonna add our chicken to our pot, along with chopped and peeled apple, sunsweet amazing prunes, and I use the bite-sized ones here because they are so adorable and small and really a perfect bite. You could also use chopped prunes though. And then goes in some dried thyme and salt and pep. Allow the entire thing to simmer for about 15 more minutes. And then during the last few minutes, we are going to stir in coconut milk and frozen peas. Serve immediately. This soup tastes like fall, it's warm. There's this spiced savoriness that's balanced with the sweetness from the coconut, the peas, and the prunes. Oh my gosh, also those bite-sized prunes, they absorb the liquid and then they almost burst in your mouth when you eat them, it's amazing. The balance of texture and flavors is complex, but it's also so simple and natural. That is your roundup of fall soups, including delicious sunsweet prunes to help support bone health, especially as we come up on World Osteoporosis Day on October 20th. Check out Sunsweet Prunes if you haven't already. They are really an amazing product. The feel-good fruit with all of the benefits they offer. And you don't only have to enjoy them plain or in a smoothie. It is really easy to add them into your weeknight meals. Thank you so much for being here. If you do try out any of these amazing soups, don't forget to tag me and let me know what you think. And thank you so much to Sunsweet for sponsoring this video. I am so grateful to them and all that they offer to the world and for our continued partner over the years. And happy World Osteoporosis Day! Yay! Have a great Osteoporosis Day! I'll be back soon with a new episode. Have a fantastic fall season. And remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.